to administer total parenteral nutrition, or TPN. First, assess the patient and check the physician's orders for the type of TPN solution and its flow rate. Then check that the TPN solution is correct, contains the ordered additives, and is properly labeled. On the bag, check the solution expiration date and the patient's name. Also inspect the 3-in-1 TPN solution for a cream layer or fat separation. If you see a layer of aggregated fat droplets about 1 to 2 centimeters thick, Agitate the bag. If the TPN solution is acceptable, connect it to the IV tubing and filter, taking care not to contaminate the spike or bag port. Now prime the tubing being careful not to waste solution. When no air bubbles remain in it, use a roller clamp to turn off the flow. Swab the port with an alcohol wipe. Then connect the end of the tubing to the central catheter or pick line. Next, place the tubing in an IV infusion pump open the roller clamp completely and regulate the flow rate on the pump as ordered. Depending on facility policy, immediately set the infusion to the ordered rate or Set it at an initial rate of 40 to 60 milliliters per hour and increase it gradually until the patient's nutritional needs are met. Important guidelines to follow when using TPN. If the patient is receiving IV medications, infuse them through a different IV line. If you must obtain blood samples or central venous pressure readings, do not use the same lumen or port as the TPN infusion. Do not interrupt the TPN infusion. Use strict aseptic technique to change the TPN solution and filtered infusion tubing, usually once every 24 hours.